a hyperbola is the set of points x and y such that the absolute value of the difference of his distance from two fixed points is a constant. Let's say we have a point P with the coordinate x and y. The distance from P to the F1 is D1 and the distance from the foresight to F2 to the point P is D2. So the absolute value for D1 minus D2 equal to 2A. Standard equation of hyperbola. Let's say we have the equation of hyperbola in the form x minus h bracket square over a square minus y minus k bracket square over b square equal to 1. From the equation given, we know the x minus h bracket square over a square is the, at the positive value and the y minus k bracket square over b square is at the negative value. So the transverse axis is at horizontal line. From the graph sketching, we can determine the length of the C that is from foresight to central and the length for A that is from vertex to central. So C is longer than A. So the formula to finding the C is C square equal to A square plus B square. We also can determine the central point from the formula given or equation given. So the central point from the standard equation given that is H and K. But for this uh, graph sketching, the central is at the 0 and 0. So the k equal to 0 and the k also equal to 0. Now we can block the points for vertices and for side. The point for the vertices at the coordinate h plus minus a and k. And coordinate for the four side is h plus minus c and k. Now we are going to block the asymptote lines. The strategy to get the asymptote lines are step one, we have to block the vertices. Then we go to block the endpoint of the conjugate. Then we form a rectangle. Finally, we draw a line along the diagonals of the rectangle. Finally, we obtain the absolute lines with the equation y equal to b over ax and y equal to negative b over ax. The strategy to find the vertices, central, foresight and the asymptotes of a hyperbola. So the standard equation of a hyperbola is x minus h square over a square minus y minus k bracket square over b square equal to 1. From the equation given, x is positive. So the transverse axis is horizontal line. So the central at the coordinate h and k and the wall side is at the coordinate h plus minus c and k and the vertices at the coordinate h plus minus a and k. If the y going to positive value, then we can conclude the transverse axis is vertical line. So the central still in the coordinate h and k, but the foresight now is h and k plus minus c, and the vertices is h and k plus minus a. Block the given vertical point 
two and four and two and eight and the uh, four five two and three and two and nine on the same Cartesian diagram we can see very clear that the transfer axis is a vertical line to determine the center of the hyperbola we just find the midpoint of the line segment which connecting the two vertices so the center of the hyperbola is at the point 2 and 6 A is the length from the center to the vertice so from the diagram A equal to 2 and C is the length from the center to the four side C is equal to 3 then we use the formula C square equal to A square plus B square to get the B so from the calculating we found that B equal to sub 5 then we we'll write the equation of the hyperbola in standard form that is y minus 6 to the power 2 over 2 square minus x minus 2 to the power of 2 over sub 5 square equal to 1 example 2 show that the equation 9x square minus 4y square plus 54x plus 16y plus 29 equal to 0 represent a hyperbola determine the coordinates of center the vertices and the equation of the asymptotes sketch the hyperbola the strategy to solve the problems are uh, first step we group the x variable in one group that is in red color and the y variable in the other group that is a green color then we filter out the 9 for variable x and filter out 4 for variable y the next working solution we completing the square for both x variable and the y variable so x variable we have the 6x so we divide the 6 by 2 we get 3 so the power 2 we have the x plus 3 raised to the power 2 then we have the 3 square here we must minus the 9 to get the balance equal to 0 same as the previous uh, expression so for the y variable we do the similar working solution we get 4 bracket y minus 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 then we have the operation plus minus the integer minus 81 plus 16 plus 29 after calculating we have 36 minus 36 so we transform it to the right side so equal to 36 we continue our working solution by divide all the term by 36 so we have 9 blackers x plus 3 raised to the power 2 over 36 minus 4 bracket minus y minus 2 raised to the power 2 over 36 equal to 1 the equation of hyperbola in standard form is x plus 3 raised to the power 2 over 4 minus y minus 2 bracket raised to the power 2 over 9 equal to 1 standard equation of a hyperbola we obtain at the previous working solution then we can find the center of the hyperbola that is at the coordinate negative 3 and 2 how to find the vertices point of a hyperbola from the center equation we obtain so we know that the transfer axis is horizontal so the vertices 
for coordinate y is unchanged for coordinate x there is x plus minus 2 so the vertices are negative 5 and 2 and negative 1 and 2 since we obtain a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 the equations of the asymptotes are y minus 2 equal to plus minus b over a x plus 3 b equal to 3 and a equal to 2 so we have y minus 2 equal to plus minus 3 over 2 x plus 3 so we simplify the equation we obtain the asymptotes are 2y equal to 3x plus 13 and 2y equal to negative 3x plus 5.